when it comes to food, you have to eat a certain amount for the person to become tummy. When it comes to mayonnaise, uh, like a, uh, a reservoir, let's say, of something of of um, of someone that's tummy, those fluids that come out, you make a person tummy even with the smallest amount. So why are you saying that this is a liquid that needs to get to? It's a it's a it's a either a food or a liquid that the baby's drinking that needs to be wet or, or not for the baby to become tummy. It comes from a, a reservoir in, that's in the woman, a mayon, and even the smallest amount, and it doesn't need to be wet. Diktani, and Rava quotes a brisa for this. It says, <laughs> Milk from a woman makes someone tame whether they, want, whether they wanted it or they didn't want it. Now, what that means is that normally food needs to be wet to be susceptible to, to become tame. Now, it's only considered susceptible to, to become tame if the person wanted it to be wet. Here, the Brysa says that milk, even if it doesn't want it to be wet, even if the baby doesn't want it to be wet, um, is going to make him tame. That means that it's not considered, it doesn't go under the status of food. It goes under the status of a maya. But an animal, that only is metame if, it's, if he wants it. We're going to see... I'm explaining Lerotzen in this way that he wants it to get wet or doesn't want it to get wet or if it doesn't matter if he wants it or not. And we'll see that's not necessarily the pshat, but we'll see. My love, is it not? Shalai Lerotzen. What does it mean even unwillingly? That he doesn't want it to get wet. Uktani metami. We say never let it tummy. That's a clear proof that it's a mayan. And the baby should be tummy. Ela marava no time of the benatar. Rather, what's the reason why the child is tar? The suffolk yana kashir the suffolk layana. Because we don't know if he drank the this the right amount. But you say it's metamid the mushroom. Yeah, we're gonna retract from that. The moment it touches usually the woman milk, if it touches, it's coming out. So Right. So we're tr- retracting from what we just said that it's a Mayan. Now we're going back to that it's food. And we're saying did we say an Ella here? Ella. Ella means a retraction. We're taking that back. The Vim Tim Tulaimer Yanak and if we say that it did nurse that amount, even if you say that, but maybe it took the baby too long to eat the right amount. The Gemara asks the Rava, but going back on Rava, Rava said, Rava said that it's a Mayan, but we have a Mishnah. Let's say a woman. Uh, she was probably nursing, or she was she, she has milk, and a drop of milk drips from her and falls vinafala virtana, and it falls into uh, the airspace of a of a um, not a microwave but of a earthenware oven. Now, uh, earthenware utensils become tummy from their airspace. If you put something in their airspace, they become tummy. Uh, something tummy in the airspace. Now, this woman happened to be tummy. And the milk that drips out of her goes into the airspace. What happens afterwards? Because if it lands on something, I don't know. But even in the airspace, we say the oven is tummy. We asked, how did the milk uh, become susceptible? We're talking about that it was on the woman hanging, dangling, dangling from the woman. And the uh, chitema, so Rabbi Yechanan explains that. That means that it was just a drop of milk, and that's already able to make something tummy. That means it must be a mayan. The chitema rabba leisava like Rabbi Yechanan. Maybe rabba doesn't hold like that. No, I'm sorry. I didn't say that right. It's the opposite. We asked, how does it become tummy? How does it become susceptible? We said that it gets wet. It gets wet. That means that it's not a Mayan. If you're claiming that it needs to get wet, then it's not a Mayan. And Rava said before that it is a Mayan. Or maybe Rava doesn't hold like Rabbi Yechanan. If you want to say it, how can you say that? Vahatani, but we have a Bryson. It comes out that Tishamashkin Bezayv. There are nine types of fluids by a Zayv. These are Zaya, sweat, lecha, srucha. This applies to a, a man that's a zav or a woman that's a zava. A, um, a liquids that are fluids and on the body. Vireye is from the bathroom, from the excrement. 
Tahirin. Those are not considered the fluids that will make someone tummy. They're entirely tar. tears. The damagifasa, your blood that from a wound, the chalavisha, and milk from a woman, mitamen to masmashkin beravias. They are mitamen. Masmashkin beravias. What does that tell me? That it takes a ravias. Rabbi Yechanan didn't hold that it's a mayan. Rabbi Yechanan didn't hold. He said it had to get wet. Rava's the one that said that it's a Mayan. So we're going to have a problem here with Rava. Roikai v'zayva yomei meiraglav, his spit, or um, uh, other emissions, or urine. Metamin tumah chamura, because those who make tummy even the smallest amount. Biyamit makam chalav mayan. If you say that the area, the uh, the ducts of the uh, where the milk come from is considered a reservoir, chalav nami nitma tumah chamura b'kalshu. Then why doesn't it be metame much more than it, it shouldn't have to take a revius? Then the area, then the place of the, it, uh, the, the duck sign is not considered a Mayan, obviously. The Gemara says, masnisa, but Rava quoted a, uh, a brysa that says, bain baratzen, bain shalai baratzen, that's, uh, that it doesn't need to get wet. Why don't we say one is direct and one is indirect? You know, it's, it's already expressed, it's in the glass, and then from there, so from a glass, it would need, or a bottle, it would need a revius, but directly from the woman, Marshall. I think it said, said it would drip from a Rabbi was clearly, oh, you know, maybe you can resolve this from the Bryce, and that's interesting. You know, from so the Bryce, you may be able to do that. Maybe an answer. That's interesting. Yachi kasha masnisa, but we have a problem with the brisa. Ve'amar Rava metami bein l'ratzen bein bein shleib b'ratzen. That's what the brisa said. The Gemara says mi savar shleib b'ratzen dar malay nichalei. Do you think that when it's, we said shleib b'ratzen we meant that he doesn't want it to get wet, and you said that it's considered a mayan? Loi. My shleil l'ratzen. What does it mean shleil l'ratzen? Dama de daiti de tine kreva legabi chalo. Avalam le nicha le tar. What we meant was that we don't care whether it's willingly or unwillingly. What we mean to say is that if we don't know if the baby wants to nurse, we don't care if he wants to or he doesn't want to. Why? Because we say that he, he that he does want to. Notice if we don't know, we say that he wants. But if he clearly doesn't want, then we say that it's Shleib Ratzin. So in other words, it still needs Ratzin. When we mm. said that it doesn't matter Shleib Ratzin, what we meant was that even if we don't have any, any um, uh, uh, clues that tell me that the baby wants the nurse, we say that he does want a nurse. That's, that's what I mean. It means Minastam. Uh, if, no, if we don't have any proof to it, we say that he wants the nurse. Achalei Chlon If he ate impure food... We said that he has to wait. Bryce has said back to the Mishnah. It says, Vishaha Kadehilas Pras. And he waited a Kadehilas Pras. So Lamalishia. He's talking about that he ate impure f- foods. He came into the base of Migdash. Or it probably means that, he, that he's going to eat shuma. But it says that he waited. Why do we need to wait? 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 You have to read it. It's only on the end. That that Vishaha was talking about when he drank wine and he came into the Mikdash. It wasn't talking about the first cases. Hmm. Rabbi Lazar so he could have eaten as long as he wanted. If he ate that amount, then it's a problem. In other words, that, that uh, restriction over the, the, uh, the... The length of time. But the length of time of wait is the wine. It's not the... the length of time. By the mashkin, by the, by, the, by the foods, that's also the same thing. What I don't understand is, if they were... Let's, how, how I'm saying they, even if he waits a chilas pras. Even if he waits a chilas pras, it's still higher. That's what I'm saying. Right. But that's... But by the food, more than a chilas pras would be potter. But the shahiya is talking about the wine. She's talking about the wine. Sorry? I don't get it. If you were going to make it, 
Yeah, a lot of this is conversation. No, so how did they know? Could have? How could it happen so many times that they don't know what he's talking? About? Right. Like they mean like they're talking face to face. Some of it is face to face. Here we're discussing a Mishnah. <clears throat> the Mishnah is here, right? Let's say um, three. Let's say year two hundred, a little before year two hundred, and the Amirayim are. Um, let's say year three hundred. It's a hundred years later. Let's say some of that. He said something. So we're we're discussing what was uh, said a hundred years earlier. Rabbi says that no, that if you add water to the wine, or if you wait, or if you don't drink it in one go, then you're exempt. So the Gemara says like this, Tan Rabbanan, start in a b'raise, yayin v'sheichar al teisht. Wine and sheichar. I don't want to translate sheichar, because it's going to be, um, going to complicate things. Sheichar, in, in, if you look at the um, the Hertz Chumash, remember all the, the old American shows had a Hertz Chumash there. So um, that, with the Birnbaum said that. So in the Hertz Chumash, he says that a Nazar is not allowed to drink wine and beer. A Sheikhar, wine and Sheikhar is beer. Is now that's not. Ah, uh, it's also. It's, it's, I don't want to say other than wine. Um, I got one. I, got I one. want to say it's hard. It's, it's, I, I it's, it. it's intoxicating wine. <laughs> like maybe like a cognac or something. So, <clears throat> so yain v'sheichar al teish can't drink wine or sheichar, and then enter into the temple. Yachal afilu kol maybe even if it drop afilu migita, even if it's not fermented yet, it's still grape juice. Tamalim v'sheichar. That's why it says v'sheichar ain't aser al kadei l'shaker, l'shach l'shaker. It's only if it's an uh, a, ability to make him drunk, intoxicated. Mekamak kadei l'shaker. How much does it take to make someone drunk? Depends who. Revius Yayin. Revius. Ben Mem Yayin. And it has to have been fermenting for 40 days. In Kain Matam Adlemer Yayin. So why does it say Yayin? If you need Shechar, and Shechar means wine. And what type of wine? Wine that's already fermented. And so, Lay Malach. So why does it have to say wine? Just say Shechar. So it says, Lay Malach. It's coming to tell you, Shemazarnalav Kalshu, that you're prohibited from drinking even a drop of wine. But when you Chayev, Umazarnalav. But in, even if it's not fermented, but you're only chayev if it's fermented and you drank the right amount. Rabbi Yehuda Imer, Rabbi Yehuda says, that's, that's the first, so far that's the Tanakhama. Rabbi Yehuda says, Yayin, Enli Ele Yayin. Wine means, I would only think wine. Shar Mashkim How do I know other, other um, intoxicating beverages? Tamalem V'Sheichar. It says, Sheichar. Sheichar is not wine. Amkein Ma Tamalem Yayin. So why did you say wine? Wine is the only one that gets the misa. Is it misa b'deshamayim? What type of death penalty is this? The death penalty from heaven. That's the one that gets that punishment. But the other ones are still prohibited. Rabbi, it's supposed to be Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Lazar, Reimer, Rabbi Lazar says, Yayin al teisht v'sheichar al tishteyu. It's quoting a pasuk somewhere. Al teisht, yain al teisht, which means al teishiteyu kederech shechrusei. Don't drink it in a way of getting drunk. Ha'im hifsek bayu, but if you drink it slowly, you sip it. Einasan l'seichem mayim, or if you add water into it, kol shu pot, then you're exempt. The my pligi. So what's the machlekes here? The machlekes is Tanakam asaver gamin and sheicha sheicha minazer. Tanakama holds that we learn the word Sheikhar from Nazar. Just like by Nazar, it's only wine. It doesn't mean that it, it, the, he's allowed to drink other, other intoxicating beverages. It's only wine that's prohibited. So too, the, to, to go into the temple, it's only wine. Rabbi Yudu doesn't compare the word Sheikhar by Nazar to the Sheikhar by us. Rabbi Lazar Savar, my Sheikhar. Rabbi Lazar says, what is Sheikhar? Anything that makes him drunk. According to which opinion is the following brisa? This was a type of date that fermented. <clears throat> it's from a place called Kielis. Or he drank honey or milk. She goes into the temple of Shemesh. This must have been some fermented milk or fermented honey. So he's like it. He gets Malchus. So his milk is intoxicating in the sense that it dulls the mind to some extent. Oh, even if it's not uh, uh, alcoholic. 
Come on, Rabbi Yehuda. You must go like Rabbi Yehuda. I, I got stuck on this before because I didn't put a dot after Rabbi Yehuda. And I read it. Come on, Rabbi Yehuda Marav. Mm. And then I got lo- lost. Because it's usually I have Rabbi Yehuda Marav. And then I'm trying to figure out what's the next Yehuda Barachuti. I never heard of him. <laughs> so really, it's come on, Rabbi Yehuda, period. That's what you have to do. You know, if, you, if you're using an English Gemara, you don't even see the issue. Right. But in a, uh, in a real Gemara, this could throw you off for uh, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm Rabbi Yehuda Barachute, Achutai, Rabbi Yehuda Barachutai, it's probably another name over here, it's probably, what is it, uh, Yudalad, Rabbi Shmuel Barachutai, I'm Rav Amnuna Samba, I'm Rav Yitzchak Barashian, I'm Rav Huna, I'm Rav, okay, Halacha Krebelazer, the Halacha is like Krebelazer, who says that uh, there are ways of drinking wine and still going into the temple, but Kari Ravala, Rab said regarding Rabbi Lazar, the Rabbi Lazar Tuvina de Chakimai, the Chakimai. He is the best of the uh, scholars. And some, some explain that because he al- makes allowance for drinking wine, and wine is good for the, the thought process, so, um, so therefore he makes the scholar, he's good for the scholars, that's what I mean. Rabacha de Hutzel, Rabacha of Hutzel have a nidra Allah de Besu. He took a vow not to have benefit from his wife. Maybe it's the opposite. No, he took a vow not to have benefits from his wife. Okay, this is in the historical fictions that they write about Tamara, and this could go in there and you can make some stories up. Asalakami de Ravashi. Comes to Ravashi to be Matineder. Amalei Zilid Nevesalam Achar. Sorry, I can't deal with this today. Come back tomorrow. The Rav Le Muki Amaira Le Amir Metav Le Chavre Mishum Shichros. Because Rav, earlier, he would not give a speech. He wouldn't allow the, the translator to be there from right after the holiday meal until the next day because he drank wine. One second, Rab says, You always put water in. Depends how much you drink. If it's more than a revias, then the water doesn't help. It's only if it's a revias that the water helps. Okay, we'll leave it over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good job, everybody. Hey, guys.